Protex loosens everyday dirt and stains, like blood and sweat, gravy and egg. With no rubbing, no bleach, it's the only specialist soaker and pre-washer. Biotex, the only specialist soaker and pre-washer. Girls who've got it up top know the secret of healthy looking hair, Alberto Balsam Conditioner. It combines the best of cream rinses to remove life's tangles with the best of conditioners for more shine and body. Girls who've got it up top know healthy looking hair is as easy as A, B, C. Alberto Balsam Conditioner. In nature, color and sound have a purity and clarity that is difficult to reflect. But Hitachi have created their televisions to mirror the quality of nature. Pure color, true harmonious sound with twin speakers that echo the depth and richness of the real world. All this at your fingertips with remote control. Because we rely on the truths of nature, you can rely on us. Hitachi. In a word, reliability. When we were kids, a day at the seaside was a real treat. I never wanted to leave. But Mum always had a bar of Ovaltine milk chocolate for us to eat on the way home. And that was the biggest treat of all. We loved it. All those delicious, crunchy pieces of real Ovaltine in smooth milk chocolate. Now you can buy it again, and it's just as good as I remember. Ovaltine milk chocolate. Welcome back. A break from work, a welcome sight. Hot BB Barbara puts us right. It bucks us up, warms right through. Delicious, warming, reviving. There's nothing quite like Bovril's beefy taste to put new heart into you. Fast. It us up, warms right through, helps us through the day. The continuing story of Fireplace. Is this the end of the old gas fire? See Marlene run off with Big Jim. Watch as she saves 25 pounds off the price of a new gas fire. Gasp as she saves 25 pounds more trading in the old gas fire. Can the showroom girl interest Big Jim in interest-free credit, or is he just interested in her? Will Big Jim realize that the saving with the trade-in equals 50 pounds, all backed by the seal of service? Get to your gas showroom for the continuing story of Fireplace. It's been one of those days, nothing feels right, things are not as bad as you think. Make a cup of Cadbury's drinking chocolate, the soothing chocolate drink. Make a cup of Cadbury's. <sighs> You're watching Southern Television. At six o'clock tonight, there'll be a few words of wisdom from Pam Ayres. That's in Day by Day. But now the ITN News with the time at 5.45. six o'clock so from all of us here on the program we hope you'll join us tomorrow night at the same time good night from us all good night Tuesday night entertainment from Southern. In just a moment, there's Emmerdale Farm, and it's followed at 7.30 by the first heat of the new competition to find Britain's strongest man, as eight big lads battle through tests of strength and stamina. 
And indeed, he's picked up on Slaney halfway down the course. And it's Davison getting the momentum, coming towards that finishing line. A good time. And Winderbank's well away. Problems already for McClatchy. Winderbank, well away. And yes, I think he's locked. He's locked now. That's a good one. Richard Slaney. Peter Tankwood, a good contest for him, and Marvin McClatchy, the junior expert. It's all or nothing for Geoffrey Capes. The Lincolnshire poacher. And it's there! And a roar from the band. And that was Jeff Capes, the former Olympic shot putter, who was one of the contestants in Heat 1 to find Britain's strongest man at 7.30. An insurance salesman takes to the analyst couch at 8.30 in the comedy It Takes a Worried Man, written by and starring Peter Tilbury. Brideshead Revisited is at 9 o'clock, and then after the news, the Sweeney meet a Latin lady at 10.30, and that's followed by A New Kind of Family at 11.30. Those are programmes for tonight on some sort of Brideshead Revisited. gives you that very special Cadbury's chocolate taste with the goodness of malt. Good night's taste of Cadbury's. With Born Vita, good night's taste of Cadbury's. When the boats come in, the young's buyer watches for the pick of the nets. If he can't buy the best, he won't buy at all. Since 1805, Young's have brought you top value seafood, like the tender haddock, place, scampi, and scallops. The golden seafood platter from Young's, the first family of the sea. My editor's out interviewing some of the great stars we're featuring this week, like Jeremy Irons, Judy Dench, and Meryl Streep. Me? I've been having a chat with Wurzel Gummidge. The Secret of the Stars on ITV in this week's TV Times magazine. I'm guarding the seven diamond pendants you can win in this week's TV Times magazine. They're safe with me. The TV Times magazine, your complete guide to the week's programmes on ITV. It'll take you all week to read it. At 10.30, Jack Regan is attracted to a villain's girlfriend in tonight's action from The Sweeney, starring John Thor and Dennis But right now, here's Brideshead Revisited a fancy to the girlfriend of a villain whom he's arrested in tonight's action from the Sweeney at 10.30. John Thor and Dennis Waterman star. And now we go over to the studio of ITN for a roundup of the latest world news. The time on Southern, 10 o'clock. If you want some more to spend, more to spend, more to spend, Car Assurance is your friend, is your friend, is your friend. If you want to find us how, find us how, find us how, why not phone us number now, number now, number now. They will send you their free book, free book, free book, so that you can take a look, take a look. The per accumulator plan, no money bills intended. And now the regional news. A big row has broken out at Southampton Docks. It's overpay, and a dockers' leader has warned that the men will take industrial action for as long as it takes to sort the matter out. The Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Sir David McNee, paid a visit to Bracknell in Berkshire today to speak to the family of the bomb disposal expert who was killed in yesterday's explosion in Oxford Street. 49-year-old Mr Ken Howarth from Bracknell was described by the Commissioner as a courageous professional. The leader of the Labour Group in Hampshire, Mr Michael Hancock, has called for an investigation into the way the county's social services are run. He says they are high-handed in the way they treat people. But they've been defended by the chairman of the Social Services Committee, Mr John Darling, who says the criticism is unfair. British Rail Sea Link are suspending their cross-channel cha cross ferry service between Newhaven and Dieppe indefinitely from Thursday. They say it's because of continuing problems with a loading ramp at the French port. The Environment Minister, Michael Heseltine, is standing firm on his decision to cut the government's rate support grant to East Sussex County Council by nearly £2 million. He's told the council that he doesn't accept their special case. 
A man from Portsmouth who's had three strokes since Christmas is being evicted from his council flat tomorrow because he's been on a rent strike. 51-year-old Mr Joseph Kelly has offered to repay the outstanding money. But the council say he's been on rent strike before and there's no guarantee that he won't do the same again. A woman had an amazing escape when she fell in front of a train at Reading Station today. The train knocked her onto the space between the lines and passed straight over her. The woman is now recovering in hospital. And here's the weather forecast for the Southern Television area. The night will be dry with little cloud and tomorrow will start sunny in the east. But rain will spread across the area from the west during the morning. Minimum temperatures 4 degrees centigrade and maximum temperatures 11 degrees centigrade. And that's all the Southern News for tonight. <laughs> What a pleasure the vegetable garden is. Digging it, preparing for seeding, and of course, <laughs> the weeding. Wouldn't life be much easier with a Flymo cultivator? Think of it. It's light, it's electric, and powerful enough to do all those tedious, boring jobs throughout the year that take up so much of your valuable time. Time that could be spent doing something else, like admiring your work. The new Flymo electric cultivators. Gardening with less effort. If you love coffee like me, give Coffee Mate a whirl. Coffee tastes nicer with Coffee Mate. Give it a whirl. Dunn and Company started off as hatters. Bowlers were three and nine. Boaters were half a crown. Over the years, we added coats, trousers, and ready-made suits. Then came waistcoats and pullovers, shirts and ties. And what has Dunn's in store for you tomorrow? One thing's certain, we'll bend over backwards to help you choose it. What does UK Provident offer life assurance brokers? Financial strength, of course. A touch of financial wizardry. Talented management and flexible policies. A tough, confident attitude to the future. UK Provident. Not all our assets are financial. What is it that people like about Miller's? The quality of them. Meat, steak, kidney, whatever they say is in the pie will be in the pie. They look as though they've been homemade. All oh, the fillings are beautiful, especially on the pork pies. They're a meal in themselves. And sausages, and they're very good too. Oh, the taste is superb. Chicken and bacon pies, they're very meaty, very appetizing, very tasty. Miller's. Pies and sausages from Miller's. Quite simply, they're nothing but the best. Men just can't help acting on impulse. It's an all-over perfume body spray with an irresistible fragrance and the reassurance of an effective deodorant. So, when a man you've never met before suddenly gives you flowers, that's impulse. We shouldn't really need warning signs like this. Common sense should tell us to slow down when conditions are bad. Even at this sort of speed, water is forcing its way under your tires. These pictures, taken from underneath the road, show you just how much tread is lost at 50 miles an hour. This is the Grand Prix S at the same speed. I think the difference is obvious, and I believe it could be vital. The Goodyear Grand Prix S. I'm convinced it's a major contribution to road safety. If you have an ordinary... In just a few moments on Southern, another episode from A New Kind of Family. gives you that very special Cadbury's chocolate taste with the goodness of malt. Good night's taste of Cadbury's. With Born Vita, good night's taste of Cadbury's. These women are racing to insulate their hot water tanks so they'll save on this winter's fuel bills. They're off to a good start, and at the first hurdle, oh dear, it's Mrs. Worth, tripped up by the old tank jacket. 
and she's wasting her money if she thinks that old thing is saving heat. They're still neck and neck as they come to the dressmaking. Oh no, Mrs. Scott has stopped to do some sewing. She could have fitted a new tank jacket in much less time. But Mrs. Lewis has done it. She's got tank insulation. She's won first prize of savings on fuel bills. If you're worried about the size of your fuel bills, insulate now. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll save. Yellow Pages is a pet. Whether you already have an animal or are looking for one, sit. And you'll find pet shops, kennels, even veterinary services close to where you live. So before you go walkies, give Yellow Pages a thumb. Zoopers, only 10p each at Spa. One with every four pounds you spend on products such as these. PG Chips tea bag, 66p. Heinz baked beans, 18.5p. Pal dog food, 23p. And Glen toilet rolls, 28p. Get your 10p Zoopers at Spa. The super duper. That one. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to believe it, honestly. Well, that's all over. Let's sit down and relax. Oh, dear. Well, that's another one gone. Did you think these tests were fixed before, huh? Yes. Oh. Oh, what, do, you, do you think they're fixed now? Like, I mean, you can't do can no, you? No, I can't, because no. I've proved myself wrong. Well, what you've been tasting, in point of fact, is new stalk SP. And you, you really do think it tastes better than yeah, the one you chose? I didn't just say that. No. I mean, obviously, I didn't know. I didn't just say no. <laughs> <laughs> We have been cheating slightly, you know, you know very well, because you're a very intelligent lady that we've still been filming. What? We've, we've still been filming it. Just oh, now. <laughs> new stalk SP. Now there's even more difference to taste. The continuing story of Fire Place. Is this the end of the old gas fire? See Marlene run off with Big Jim. Watch as she saves 25 pounds off the price of a new gas fire. Gasp as she saves 25 pounds more trading in the old gas fire. Can the showroom girl interest Big Jim in interest-free credit, or is he just interested in her? Will Big Jim realize that the saving with the trade-in equals 50 pounds, all backed by the seal of service? Get to your gas showroom for the continuing story of Fire Place. Coming round the mountains when she comes. Do some lovers taste soft around the edges? There's a harder edge to the taste of hemeling, because hemeling brew more sugar out, so there's more alcohol in. Result: a taste with a stronger, keener, harder edge. That's why hemeling has got the edge over soft lovers. It's the stronger taste. There's a harder edge to hemeling. Here's the weather forecast for the southern television area. The night will be dry with little cloud. Lowest temperature will be 4 degrees centigrade. Wind moderate westerly. Tomorrow will start sunny in the east, but rain will spread across the area from the west during the morning. Highest temperature, 11 degrees centigrade. Wind becoming strong southwesterly. <laughs> Hello. I'm talking tonight to Eddie Gibbs, who has just written a book of over 400 pages called I Believe in Church Growth. And I suppose whoever you are, you believe that it's a good thing if a church grows, unless, of course, you happen to be against all religion or believe that religion is the enemy of the people. Well, not everybody does think it's a good thing if the church grows. Eddie, you must have already anticipated some people when you wrote this book who would say, do we really want the church to grow? Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? Well, I think firstly in the book I'm writing to, uh, to Christians who are concerned about the growth of the church, so that uh, I've not really spent a lot of time addressing myself uh, to those who have major objections. 
Though if I were speaking to such people, I would have some sympathy because there are some kinds of churches which, quite frankly, I wouldn't want to grow. What kinds of churches? <laughs> well, those which uh, are, are a denial of the very message of, uh, of the New Testament. I want some churches to grow, but uh, others do need a decent burial. <laughs> I mean, it seems to me when I look at the problem of churches growing, I think you did say last night, in fact, you're interested not just in filling pews, mm. but it does seem to me one could go overboard on this, that yes. you sell the church like soap flakes, you get mm. everybody coming, mm -hmm. and you sacrifice quality of life yes. for quantity of people mm. sitting in church. Now, is that a fair comment on the movement for church growth? Yes, I think that uh, certainly there has been an overemphasis on numerical growth as far as uh, uh, some of the North American churches are concerned. Uh, and if I was speaking to you in North America, then I'd take a very different line. But I think here in Britain, we uh, take it as normal that the church should be in decline. So we need to face the numerical issue uh, here in the UK. I notice in reading your book that one of the principles you work out is that it's a good thing for people to go for the people like themselves. Yes. In other words, it's no use going to folk you can't relate to. Mm. But it seems to me this has the danger, doesn't it, that you do in fact produce very ingrown communities of like with like. Yes, yes. Uh, that is a danger and one of the disturbing features of English church life, in, in suburbia especially, is that you tend to get that uh, uh, kind of birds of a feather flocking together syndrome. Now, if the community around the church represents one kind of people, basically, then you expect to find that reproduced in the life of the church. But unfortunately, you tend to get the same uh, thing happening uh, when a church is surrounded by people of different backgrounds. You just collect from one segment of, of the community. Um, for instance, uh, in, a, in an inner city area, which uh, is my own home background, uh, we are not a book culture in the home where I was brought up, a terraced house, two up, two down, no front garden. We just had a, a, a family Bible, which we used for pressing things, really. Nobody read it. Uh, and uh, a family doctor sort of book. Uh, but but no, no other books uh, apart from that. But as soon as you go into church, then you find a different kind of people. They're all book readers. So does this mean that if you work out your principles for growing churches, you are in fact producing churches very much of one sort. We're going to have a lot of different kinds of churches, some middle class, some working class, some black, some white. Yes, I think that is, that is true at one level, but I would be disturbed if it stopped there, uh, because the danger there is then you have uh, a, a gospel that's comfortable to live with, that people like you and I uh, yes. enjoy and like. And I think we also need another structure where people from different backgrounds and cultures come together because each of them have uh, insights relating to the gospel and we can challenge one another across the cultures. When you say another structure, are you, are you talking of another kind of church? Uh, yes, for instance, larger churches may have different congregations which come together, together to celebrate their faith. Uh, one illustration outside of this country, um, in, uh, in Los Angeles where I was a little while ago, a Baptist church there has seven different congregations all meeting uh, on the same premises. Uh, one is Swatow, uh, Chinese speaking. Uh, another is Korean. There's uh, an English speaking uh, uh, Baptist group and also a Latin American group. Now, the same denomination, people living in the same city, all of them speaking English, and yet the, the services, as you go from one group to the other, each is totally different from the other because they reflect their own culture. So what we're after is a variety and yet a similarity all at the same time. That's right. Yes, thank you. And so we come to the end of our programmes for today. We hope you enjoyed them and that you'll be joining us again tomorrow. Meanwhile, from all of us here at Southern Television, to all of you at home, good night, sleep well, and our final look at the clock. And the time on Southern's just gone five minutes past midnight.
And if you can still hear me, don't forget to switch off your set and as a fire precaution, unplug it from the socket. Good night. Of course, some slightly warmer weather. With that, back to the man who's Britain's fastest man on two halves of lager.